Hola Aquarius says welcome to your compatibility reading for if you have a Virgo partner or you're considering a Virgo partner or you wonder what it would be like to be with a Virgo partner. This is a general reading. I'm concentrating on the sun sign. So make sure you factor in someone's other signs in their chart. Um, this is not this is not based on a timeline. These videos are going up and they will be up forever. So when you when you see it is when you were meant to view it. And then also if you change relationships and you're with someone else, you can always come back and check that out, okay? I'm doing in the order of most views, all-time views. So you Aquariuses were my most views for my videos for lifetime. Uh, make sure you check the playlist for other signs frequently and or subscribe. The first portion, I will lay out these main cards. I will clearly and concisely tell you what the meanings are. The second portion will be in Vimeo. Just click the link below if you want a more in-depth version with the clarifiers. That's a bonus version. Okay, it'll take you to the link where you can purchase that. Otherwise, consider a personal reading if this resonates with you. And let's get to it. Whoa! Something happened with the shuffling. Okay, so Holy Spirit Angels, can you please show me the position or the contribution an Aquarius, the Aquarius would have to an Aquarius Virgo relationship? The Queen of Swords in reverse. Can you please show me what the contribution or position would be for a Virgo? We have the Death card in reverse. Alrighty. And can you please show us? Pushing from this side. Really pushing from this side. Am I taking all of these cards? Nope. It's too many. Well, you know what? Why not? You only live once, right? YOLO! Alrighty. Usually when Virgos are involved in a reading, I get multiple cards, so whatever. Um, okay, we have the Two of Swords in Reverse, along with the Nine of Pentacles in the Upright, along with the Eight of Swords in Reverse, along with the Four of Pentacles in Reverse. What lies between the Aquarius and Virgo, be it for better or worse? If it was any other sign other than Virgo, I'd put it back, but Virgos like their info. Ace of Swords, woohoo! What lies in between you guys? And then finally, how will the Aquarius Virgos move forward in their relationship? We have the Seven of Wands. Okay, good. So realize every relationship has work to it. There's some more work than others. I will be pointing out strengths, I will be pointing out weaknesses in this relationship. Um, also, the Virgo, you guys, you guys are going to have the tendency to think that the Virgo is a little too concrete, a little too predictable, okay? And that might be a bone of contention or that might be just a riff in the relationship. This relationship is considered fair. So from best to good to fair to worst, okay? So it's not the worst relationship in the world you can have if you put the work into it, okay? So we start off with the Queen of Swords with you guys in reverse. Um, and this is interesting to me <laughs> because your contribution or what you're contributing is really, and this is per the Virgo's view, believe it or not, this coming from a Virgo is funny. Um, and actually it could be both of you. So it could be the Virgo and it could be you, but I feel like this is uh, sometimes how you're perceived by the Virgo. Um, and that is being a little bit cold, a little bit rigid, a little too logical, um, no compassion. I mean, we know sometimes you guys can be aloof and a little bit detached and what have you, and that might be a contribution or your position in the relationship that might cause some waves in regards to the Virgo. Even though Virgos can be, you know, shrewd and they can kind of be like that, they, they can still be, you know, feeling people, um, and they go a little bit deeper than a lot of people think. So that would be your contribution, and that might make some waves in regards to this relationship. Now, over by the Virgos, we have the death card in reverse, okay? Now, that's the card of Scorpio for those of you that resonates. Um, death card in reverse, I mean, their contribution kind of is, and this is per how you, you kind of perceive them, um, they're just kind of stagnant. They're not, they're stuck. There's no, like, renewal. There's no rebirth. There's no, um, you know, action. Things aren't moving along as quick of a pace as you would like them to be in regards to them, or they don't move along as quick of a pace as you would like them to. So with the death card in reverse, it's just, you know, kind of feeling a little bit stuck in this relationship. You kind of, you know, maybe hoping that they'll transform or change as the death card being upright, but that's not happening. So you're just kind of like ho-hum in regards to this. Um, 
also the Virgo, they might be holding on to some stuff. You know, they might hold on to some stuff in the past, past arguments, things like that. And that could be a little something you guys have to work through. All right. So the foundation of the relationship, we have a whole hell of a lot of cards here. Okay. Um, okay. I'm just trying to think of what order I should read them, but I guess I should go all the way across. So we have the two of swords here. So, it, and the foundation, the basis of the relationship to me just shows me the energies of this relationship, either why you guys are together, why you guys were drawn together, what is the foundation. These are the issues that kind of, I almost feel like make up why you guys are together or can just show the problems of why you guys are together. So we have the two of swords in reverse here. Now, I feel like when it comes to the two of swords in reverse, and I think this might be coming from you, you guys have a problem being in, like um, indecisive or when a lot of information comes in for you guys, you guys feel overloaded. You don't know what to do. You feel confused. And I feel like the Virgo actually helps you kind of sort this out. So they actually ground you. They come, they lay everything out and say, okay, I know you're confused. Why don't we go over these choices? Let's figure it out with the, you know, because they have a methodical approach in regards to how to do this. So that's what I think one of the foundations is in regards to this relationship. Now, Nine of Pentacles in the upright. Again, I feel like this is you being um, independent. You it, And I'm going to put it together with the Eight of Swords here. So I think that you need independence in this relationship. Um, you know, you don't have a need or a want for anybody. and Anyone just kind of folds in. So that's what I feel like is going on there. And you need somebody to respect that. And I do feel like Virgos will respect that. Now, coupled with the Eight of Swords, it, it's a continuation of that. The Eight of Swords in reverse is, you know, your freedom, being liberated, needing to be free, needing to escape, needing to be with someone who fans that. And while the Virgo definitely can be a little bit too grounded at times, I do feel like they respect the fact that you're an individualist and they kind of have to let you do what you want to do. Um, four of Pentacles in reverse. Now, this is something that's going to bother you about the Virgo. Um, and you're going to have to help them with, help them to lighten up a little bit. The Four of Pentacles is all about fear of bankruptcy, fear of being poor, um, being vulnerable because you don't have enough money. And I think this is going to be a struggle all the time with Virgos that you're going to have to kind of help them and say, hey, you know, don't. Don't get too in your mind about this. It's really not like this. It's a perception. It's not a reality. So that's why I think this relationship is kind of like happening here. Now, what's in between you guys is a great card. Ace of Swords. So the two of you are going to be able to go in a new direction in regards to this relationship. Really have clarity in regards to where this relationship is going and how. Um, the two of you might even be able to come up with um, new ideas on on how to make this relationship better. And the thing about the Ace of Swords too, I feel like the both of you are just kind of leaving stuff in the past. So leaving in the past and kind of moving on. And you definitely see a viable relationship um, because you guys are fine about, boom, I'm going to let go of the past and let's move forward in a new direction. Now how the two of you will be moving forward is the Seven of Wands, which is also a great card. The two of you will fight for this relationship. And I do feel like, um, despite naysayers, despite people that say, hmm, I don't know, this isn't going to work out, I feel like this is actually a little bit of opposites attract. And people are seeing the outside of that, but not the inner workings of your relationship. So you guys know that there's something very grounded there to continue on with. And you guys are going to fight for it. You're going to fight for love and, and move on in regards to that. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and upload this portion of the video. If you guys, I'm going to throw a whole bunch of clarifiers down and we'll do a little in-depth more on this relationship. I'll, the link is below. Just click on it. It'll take you, where you, it will take you where you need to be. And otherwise, if this reading resonated with you, consider a personal reading. Just shoot me an email. We can make that happen. Good luck, Aquariuses, moving forward. Adios from Veronica Garnett.